Welcome back to the Romanian Reaver channel and my playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Yeah, let's see if we can save anybody. You got stuck in there, didn't you? Hopefully she lives. Hopefully. Okay, that's Valena squared off with. That will turn into zombie ham anytime soon. to find something in the cellar. A key or a battering ram? I prefer the latter. Oh, speaking of which... Fairly sure we can... Fit this now without issues. Hmm. Shame there's no red dot going from end to end of the visor. That would have been perfect. Ooh, another love letter. My darling Reginald, I burn for you and because of you, please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. <sighs> really now.
these guys be going full retard for each other. Open the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our army. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. Keep an eye for an uh, ugly mage. Just making sure there is nothing lost around here. It's really useful finding another redhead. Wish if brunettes aren't doing it for me anymore. the situation. Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Excellent. Let us go now, and see what awaits us there. defeated my soldiers the ones I sent to reclaim my village yes and now it's staring at me what is it mother I can't see it well enough this is a dwarf gone you you've seen dwarves before we've had them here at the castle had them for dinner maybe looks like a tough chew maybe in a nice stew <laughs> Shall I send it to the kitchen, Mother? Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone, Ma Mother. What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker, Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me. And here I thought I was the only one. <laughs> Maker's breath. What has happened here? Great Mother, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It 
was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon? He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Enemies up! Enjoy it. Now, what do we kill? Project! myself had you died but after I brought you here the fool I am please Connor's not responsible for this there must be some way we can save him Connor is no longer a child he's an abomination you you did this to Connor I didn't I didn't summon any demon I told you Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help, not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. The Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. But if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I do not like the idea of hurting the boy, but... Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fae without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? 
Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isold, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do. I am uneasy. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. It requires Lyrium and more mages. We won't find them anywhere outside the Circle of Magi, I suspect. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, provided we have the time. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay. Let us bomb rush for victory. Whoa! Which way that way? Yeah. Okay, we need to go get some mages.
This is why I did it in this order. Can you just jump around the damn lake? Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fae. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. Life is at stake. Mm -hmm. You really killed all the... I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Do you have any distillation agent? Yes, we can use. In this. Oh, we don't have the cash. Damn it. This is why our friendly the mages, they can be quite useful in a quest. Hopefully in Inquisition we can get actual flying mounts. I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana. Something he could tap at will. Not really. Although now that I think of it, these attempts may be what cause my disruption. Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Why not? I don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures, after all. That answers its question, I assume. Unless it has more. Did I not already tell it that I do not remember doing such? I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Clever and true. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was tinkering with spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. But I am no mage, and he did not explain himself to me. 
any more than it would explain itself to a sword. He possessed my control rod, and back then, it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to, no matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then... nothing. And then he was gone. I was standing where I was, in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. <laughs> Wonder? I was glad that he was gone. So many years I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. <laughs> well, good for it. Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless, for which I should be thankful, yes? And provided it doesn't decide to copy his experiments, not that I would allow it, it is nothing to fear for me. Much. The things that it fights, and it fights things often, that is a different story. Let us get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. Really? So moody. So very, very moody. I await your command. At times, perhaps, a world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Such simple pleasures will only enthrall for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. I was heartbroken. And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. Do I not? I am still an apostate mage, even if I have left the wilds. The Darkspawn are yet undefeated? No, there is much that remains. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely, but such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place in its reality. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the golden mirror for her. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. And Sirlik has announced he's siding with the throne. That's not surprising considering his lands born to Logan. He probably fears what Logan might do to him if he turns. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. 
and with your discount. Enchantment? Enchantment! For now, that should do. Good, I expect nothing less. Now it is time to head off. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Oh boy. There's a trap here. Got him. It's your time to oh. Come here. Started. 
Sam ready? Decapitation. Now it's pretty much a given. Oh, there's another one. This one's a melee. Sorry for the slight um, audio blurb earlier during the beginning. I actually got scared and misclicked. Happens from time to time. I do get emotional. Mostly to a certain elven keeper. Long in the tooth and big on the stupid. Probably would have lived if he worked with us. The mages wait to perform the ritual. I do hope this is worth the time it has taken to assemble them. Depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Yes. We haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Then let us begin forthwith. Why does one approve of me sending this? Father! Where are you? I don't understand. It's so cold. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. This is the fate. Your kind cannot navigate it any more than you could navigate a dream. Where is my corner? I will find him for you since I foolishly gave my word that I would. Leave me to it. No. No, you're trying to lead me astray. I do not believe you. Connor! Connor, where are you? Is anyone out there? Hello? Very well. Which reminds me, having an extra frosting does not hurt. Who are you? Are you the one that made father? Tell me now. Shoo, run along and play, or whatever. No, you're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. Ah! 
Hey, bitch. Freeze it. Making father sick. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Enough of these games. Give me what I want. Trespasser! I will drive you out! Great. Got anything else? Besides your imminent death. I'll help him! You can't stop me! Get out of here! You have to get out! Blessed who exists in the sight of How do I get up there? I'll stop you! I will! Please forgive me! Let's see where this takes me. Somewhere new, I think. Yeah. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Why do you speak through illusions? Come, let us converse. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist. Or things will go very badly. It isn't too hard. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand. It is here I am most powerful, and yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I will not become an abomination no matter what you try. One soul I already possess. I do not need another. You need not fear me. To talk. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Yep. Recover, recover, recover.
Died. Ah. Why would they launch flaming bolts near an actual bolt? Especially one that has uh, rolls. his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jawan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jawan's fate is sealed. What do you think? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, Eamon. I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Released? Are you mad? Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He is a Malefica. We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Deneran. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. Perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the Hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Yeah. Okay. 50 minutes. I'm gonna point Zenny to leave it off for now, gents. Thank you for watching, and until next time, buff.